Welcome to our powertrain video, where we will use a real-life example to demonstrate how Brulen Care's pulse system is used to efficiently perform crank angle analysis on a 10-cylinder Dodge Viper engine mounted on a test bench. The video will take you step by step through the setup of transducers, the acquisition of data and the analysis of results. We'll start with setting up the transducers. On the lower part of the engine we have a 4326 charge accelerometer. Here we have a high temperature 4527 triax XL. It is located on the right engine mount underneath the exhaust manifold. Here is a 4393 XL. It is mounted on the fuel rail base. Installed on the front of the cylinder head is a 4526 XL. An angular encoder delivers 360 pulses per revolution and a 1 pulse per revolution reference signal. The angle signals are also measured by a magnetic pickup at the flywheel, with a laser probe detecting the top dead center position. We are also using pressure transducers on one bank of the engine to measure cylinder timing and observe the combustion pressure as it relates to crank angle. And finally, between the output shaft of the engine and the dynamometer, we have an HPM torque meter. We are using Brulen Care Lanox I modules to measure the angular rotation of this V10 performance engine, as well as vibration and cylinder pressure characteristics. New in this setup is the 3056 high speed TACO module. It allows two high speed encoder signals to be acquired by the front end from both our front crank encoder and the flywheel pulse from the rear of the engine. Also unique and special to the 3056 module is the ability to have eight auxiliary inputs. With these auxiliary inputs, we are able to bring in data at low sample rate. This is data such as oil pressure, oil temperature, water temperature, timing, etc. During the test, the engineers monitor the data acquisition from the control room. As well as RPM and a quick overview of the use of the dynamic range of the channels, they can choose a selection of monitoring functions, such as crank angle versus time, the cylinder pressures, five of which are shown, and a vibration signal, in this case in time domain. From the cylinder pressure data, it is clear that one of the cylinders has a problem. The initial display during analysis confirms the monitoring data shown during the test. The lower part of the display shows a drop in RPM and torque as one of the cylinders misfires. This is further illustrated in the subsequent displays, where the drop in pressure of the faulty cylinder is shown in 2D and 3D as a function of cycle number. Cycle statistics. The graph shows maximum and mean curves of a vibration signal and cylinder pressure, illustrating the drop in pressure of the faulty cylinder. Brule and Care's broad portfolio of systems for powertrain engineering has now been extended with tools for angle domain crank angle analysis of sound and vibration of internal combustion engines, comparison of angle domain data sets from different test runs, statistical analysis of cylinder-related phenomena, reporting and export to, for example, Microsoft Excel. All of this helping to identify root causes and solutions to engine NVH problems.